This will be a day long remembered. Now I am the master. Welcome to another episode of Legends and Theories. And welcome to a review of The Nightmare Before Christmas. And honestly, this is a, personally my favorite movie ever. Honestly, I wasn't even planning on rewatching it this year. But a family member really wanted to go to see it in theaters. So I decided to go with them. And, you know, and I had a fun time with it. I really didn't remember too much from this movie. And I don't know if I've actually watched it in its entirety. Because there's scenes in here that I don't really remember at all. I know I've watched most of it. But I think that I may have watched it fully for the first time. It's either that or I just have a really bad memory of it. But it's a fun movie. It definitely looks incredible, and Tim Burton does an amazing job. It's just, personally, a movie that isn't appealed to me too much. And that's not saying it's bad. That's the exact opposite. It is a really incredibly well-made movie, and everything is really great about it. The only... The real thing is me saying that is that it just doesn't appeal to me too much. Everything about it is fun. As I said, the story is pretty interesting with uh, the character of Jack Skellington wanting to kind of have something different and taking over Christmas, which ultimately ends in disaster and it just barely being saved. The one thing I don't remember at all is the stuff with the military and I thought that was pretty funny and yeah just watching all of it it was as I said it was a pretty interesting and pretty fun movie one of the best parts is just the animation and just how great that looks and I definitely know where the appeal in this is it's just Something that, you know, I personally am not interested in, that is not saying it's bad at all. It's one of those movies where, you know, you know, you personally don't enjoy it too much, but you definitely see that it's a good movie and it just personally doesn't appeal to you. And that's exactly what it is for me. I think that, well, everything with it is fun, and all the characters are pretty great in it. The I know that actor who played, I believe it was Oogie Boogie, passed away within the last month or two. I don't remember exactly when, but he was a pretty fun kind of antagonist for this. And the character of Jack Sullivan obviously isn't a great person in this since he kidnapped Santa Claus. But the story is ultimately fun. It is... Also pretty interesting since I watch it in 3D. I haven't seen a movie in 3D probably in at least a decade. Maybe even closer to 15 years. And I just remember getting a headache last time I went to see one. Thankfully it didn't happen this time. And the movie just over an hour or so. It wasn't you know, too bad in the head. But I don't know. Really not looking forward to really watching stuff in 3D too often. And it was really interesting. It made things pop out a little more, and was a more fun and different experience with it. And honestly, I always like seeing a movie on the big screen, even if I do have access to see it at home. I've just seen so many great movies, whether at a local theater, AMC, or uh, other different types of theaters. In fact, I'm going to be seeing John Wick within the next week at uh, AMC. And yeah, I am already in the movie, but as I said, I love seeing a movie on a big screen. And that's what, we, that's what I did for this, and it was just a great little experience. But yeah, honestly, really fun movie. I personally, as I said, 
it, don't enjoy it as much as others, but I definitely see the appeal. And I honestly want to know what you think because I definitely know that almost everyone's going to enjoy this more than me, but it's, it's still, it's still, I just had to be honest about it. I'm not going to be going in talking about how great I think it is just to appeal to all the people who really enjoy it. I think it is a great movie. It's just something personally that doesn't appeal to me. But I definitely recommend people to watch it. And as I said, I think the best part about it is just the amazing animation for it. The movie is beautiful and even in 3D it looks great where it's just popping out at you. But even if it is in 2D, it's still a visually great movie. So let me know what you think and I'll see you on the next episode of Legends and Theories. Thank you for watching this episode of Legends and Theories. Please subscribe, like the video, share the video, leave a comment, check out the video on screen, and may the force be with you.